So man, like it's no secret, man, that Ice Spice came out with the song Much. Yeah. So like you consider yourself a much, bro. Like, like what do you uh first of all, how you felt about that, bro, when that song uh, came out? I was like, I know you like what? All of my niggas, they still in the struggle. Flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. I'm fucking up good with using no rubber. I tell them like sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Fuck with us, brother, you niggas in trouble. The point they took ain't no shine, no tussle. I'm fucking up, don't ain't no time to cover. I tell them like sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Yo, what's going down, man? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up-and-coming and established artists. Today, we got a big name, man, entrepreneur, man, guru, man. What's going on, man? Welcome to the show, man. What's up with you, bro? Thanks for coming to the show, man. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. Introduce man. yourself, man. Yeah, you know, it's your boy, Munch Lauren, you know, rapper, producer, engineer, entrepreneur, business owner, all of that. Man, no, no need for introduction, man. So, uh... How'd you get the, how'd the name Munch Lauren come about? Like, how'd the, where, uh, where'd the name come from? Actually, uh, the name Munch, it's, it's a long time nickname I had since I was down there a baby. So it's just that. And uh, the Lauren came to play basically how I was dressing in high school. So they just put it together, Munch Lauren. You know? All facts. Like the drip, man. Stuff. We see the drip. We see the drip, man. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so man, as long as I know, man, you've been buzzing, man. Like, what, what year did you, like, officially get your buzz? Uh... I say I started seeing like people start coming up to me, you know, playing my music and hearing my music around the city, like around 2010, 2010. 2010, yeah. Facts, facts, man. Like, what was your, what was your first, like, you know, what I'm saying the one that, like, everybody was like, oh man, I gotta, this, this the shit right here. Uh, it actually started with uh, I had did a song with with Bankhead. Me and Song did, a, me and Bankhead did a song called uh, I'm That Guy. You know, I, I had the song already. I hit a bank like, man, I got this song, man. It go perfect for, you know, it was a dance. And everybody's dancing. And so I said, man, I think everybody can, you know, dance to this one. He's like, let me hear it. I play it. He's like, let me hop on that. I, let, I threw him on there. You know, Bank Kid, he had, uh, he had a name for dancing already. So that kind of got me up there. Then right after that, I had dropped a song by myself called Glazing on Your Ass. And that's when everybody was like, oh, yeah, he going crazy. Oh, man. R.I.P. Bank Kid, man. Yeah, that's crazy, Bankhead. man. So, like, uh... You make all your own beats, right? Uh, most of them, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, like, how how did how did how do you come up with these these beats, like the? Cause you got your own style, like, what? How do you come up with these beats? Uh, basically, just me in the studio having fun. I just be in the studio, just feeling it. I could be, it could be a bottle of water on the table, and I could be like, man, I'm gonna make a song called Water. <laughs> like, and then I just think of the beat, think of like what beat a sound, like all that stuff, just be. Uh, you already, I already know what type of play you're going to have with a song called Water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just all uh, just start flowing after that. So I just you know, go with, I make the beat. As I'm rapping and I make the beat and all that. So. Facts, facts. So like, if you wasn't rapping, man, like what, what would you be doing? Like, what, what can you see yourself doing? Uh, originally, I really wanted to be a, a DJ and a producer. So I'd probably be doing something like DJ in the club or something like that if I wasn't a rapper, so. So right, like it'll still probably be in the music field. Facts, man. Music take you a long way, man. Yeah. So, uh, man, in case y'all just now tuning in, man, we tapped in with the boy Munch Lauren, man. And, uh, you know, we got this new segment it's called Artist of the Month. Y'all stay tuned. Best of the Best TV, new segment called You're the Best, where we recognize hardworking entrepreneurs every month. This month, we present Artist of the Month to Bacon Soda Book with over nine mixtapes that can be found on all platforms. He has shown a high level of consistency and more. Go check out his video, Who I Am, shot by Sir Quentin himself on YouTube. If you'd like to be recognized as Entrepreneur of the Month, please submit your accolades to 414liftoff at gmail.com. Again, congratulations, Bacon Soda Boo. You are the best. Yeah, in case y'all just now tapping in, man, we were much lower, man. It's going down, man. So we see you got the hat on, man. You, you start oh, yeah. growing the hair out, man. So oh, yeah, what made yeah. you start growing the hair out, man? Man, to be honest, I got a big ass head. So <laughs> I started growing my hair off. <laughs> head big as hell. So. It's crazy because your emojis, man, they even make the, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the little cartoons, they even make yeah. hair big. Right, so. right. So that's that's the route I was going in. On top of that, you know, my son got hair, so, you know, he be 
he messing around crying when he gets hair done, so I got to get my hair oh, done yeah, too. Oh yeah, you got to like, lead by yeah. example. That's what's up, yeah, man. Right. That's what's up. So man, like it's no secret, man, that Ice Spice came out with the song yeah. Munch. <laughs> Munch. So like, you consider yourself a Munch, bro? Like, <laughs> like what do you, uh... first of all, how you felt about that, bro, when that song uh, came out? I was like, I know you like, what? When I heard it, originally, somebody sent it to me on some plans though, like, she dished you. I'm like, I listened to it, I laugh. I'm like, I just thought it was funny, like, that's crazy. <laughs> right. And it kind of, I ain't gonna lie, kind of shot my numbers up because people started looking up Munch and they start, you know, yeah. they start tapping in with Munch Lauren more, so. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's kind of that same type of her music, it's that same type yeah, of yeah, it's the same, man. Yeah, same look, so. People, when I go on TikTok, I see people doing dances to the, the Munch songs, and they'll turn around and do something to my songs. So. Wow. Like, yeah, facts, bro. Facts. So uh, let's talk about this choreography, man, like, in yeah. and, and, uh, and your video girls, man. So, like, what's your, what's your, I don't mean to get in too much in your marketing, but, like, what's your, what's your approach with them? Like, they just, like, send them to you? You, you target them? Management? Uh, like, you know? With the girls, they, honestly, they hit me up. They be trying to work. You know, they be, a lot of girls, they be wanting, you know, do the video, the modeling and all that stuff so they reach out to me and be like you know you got something that can help me right you know, build my name whatever whether it's some extra money in their pockets or whether it's building their name you know they hitting me up trying to work so a lot of these girls they be tapping in oh that's work. dope that's dope man so you were uh you a big influence in the city do um do, do art other artists like reach out to you like man like how do i yeah do yeah, yeah, yeah they uh they reach out they ask for advice uh, a lot of people they hit me up uh I done told a lot of people how to get money off their music, you know, all that stuff. So, you know, it's, I'm an open book, really. Yeah, I'm fact. here to help because when I was coming up, I couldn't hit up nobody. Like all the big artists that I knew, you know, they wasn't reaching back to tell me what to do, uh, help me out and let me know, hey, don't do this. Only I learned on my own. So I'm like, you know, what I'm going to do is the next generation, I'm going to make sure I help them out. That's the least I can That's do. That's so dope, man. You, you. Like the fifth, fifth person that came on this show that said that, man. Yeah, like, yeah. ain't nobody, wasn't nobody reaching back, and that's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, it wasn't, man. Speaking of, all right, so you got a project, man. I seen, I seen you promoting it, man. Let's touch on that project. What kind yeah. of song we looking for? Uh, the project I just dropped was called uh, April Fool. You know, I'm dropping a- Oh, you dropped already? Yeah, I drop an EP every first of the month. Oh, copy so that, just, copy I that. I dropped the, uh, the April Fool, uh, April 1st. So, you know, it's going crazy, man. It's just me really just uh, giving y'all it's like my kind of like my diary, like right. I'm, what I'm writing every month, and I'm when I'm recording every month, I'm just putting it out there to the fans. So, okay, what's the pen game like, man? Like you got you got a family you got to take care of, like, man. Is it like when you get to chill, you just like, or you just constantly writing, uh, man? When in the beginning, I used to write a lot. Now, like, I didn't got so busy. I got kids. I got everything going on that I just kind of I listen to beats and stuff like while I'm in the car or whatever. Then when I get to the studio. I kind of just go in because it kind of be stuck in my head what I'm going to do and what I'm going to say. So I just go in. When I'm in the studio, I probably drop like uh, four or five songs in like two hours. And Stop then, it, man. I'm, I'm up out of there. Oh, yeah. them bangers. You dropping them. Yeah. Cut it out, man. That's that's real talent, man. All right, in case y'all just now tapping in, man, we were much lower. We got the new segment called Words. So we got a wheel and there's a, a couple of words on there. And you just tell me what you feel about this word. Okay. All right. We'll let you spin. You get three spins, man. All right. Hustle. Hustle. Uh, you a hustling motherfucker, yeah, hustle, man. Yeah. So <laughs> what's That's your what take I, on it? I say like hustle is is, is a important thing in my life because that's how I started everything. It was hustling. You know, I was hustling, not just, I ain't talking about just like in the street selling, just period, just making money. Rather, it was me uh, gathering up all my little cousins. Hey, we finna go shovel some snow. We finna stack some money. We finna do this. It was just the hustle. You gotta have hustle to to do anything, really. Absolutely. To be successful, period, you gotta have that hustle. You don't, you, you might as well just go fill out a McDonald's application or something, go work. No, no <laughs> disrespect to McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's making that cheese. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah hey, I just seen they, Talking about starting off twenty five dollars an hour Jeez. out there and grafting, I'm like, oh, man. McDonald's. <laughs> hey, twenty five dollars yeah. an hour ain't nothing nowadays. Yeah, so it ain't like nothing, that. but it's like yeah. you would think McDonald's like minimum like, wage what? or something. But it was like, dang, it was like seven twenty five. We Benefits and everything, dude, all that. I'm like, yeah, right. but yeah, you just gotta have hustle to when you want to be uh, uh, that entrepreneur or self employed. You just gotta have that hustle. Absolutely. All right, get your second spin on G. 
Oh Lord. Let's say studio. Uh, studio. First thing I think about is just the studio. The studio, the studio. That's a, that's that's like the the, the therapy. Studio <laughs> therapy. So Thanks. you know, go in there and release. Thanks. Let it all out at the studio. Thanks. Yeah. Y'all right, gonna be so thirsty, though. We know what the studio mean to you, man. It's the four, five songs in, a, in two hours. Yeah. Jeez. Fashion. <laughs> uh, it speaks for itself, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fashion, it's, it mean a lot to me since, you know, when I was younger. Thanks to my mom, she always kept us in all the the latest gear, like from the, all the Jordans. We had all the Jordans, everything growing up, me and my brother. So uh, fashion was a big part. So even like, uh, I remember in middle school, I used to dress how I dress now. Yeah. And they used to be like, you trip all them bright colors, all them polos. Like, you know, people wasn't wearing polos like yeah, that. No, for right. real. I, I kind of, I was looking up to Kanye and stuff with the polos. With the I'm like, I'm gonna, start, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna start wearing this. Yeah, and people was like, nah, and then it's crazy. As I got to high school, everybody started wearing, I started venturing off from wearing the Jabos, like everybody else and stuff. Now everybody want to wear polo yeah. and all this stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, I was wearing that in middle school. Yeah, facts, man. That's it. That drip old, man. Yeah, and I just started being my, after I seen that, I started being myself with the fashion. I just started wearing what I like. It don't matter the price. Yeah. It don't matter the brand to me, none of that stuff. I just, if it look good, I wear it. Yeah, you are the brand too, man. Yeah, yeah. I think I want another spin, bro. Let's get one more spin, man. What y'all <laughs> say? One more spin, man. Jeez, we know what that is. It's a longevity. The longevity. Uh, I say being consistent, it help you with the longevity. So the more consistent you is, the, the longer you will last. Uh, that goes back to the first word, hustle. Yeah. You know, all that, all the words, studio, stay in the studio. Yeah. You know, all that. It all come together. It all, it all go with longevity. Yeah, man. So y'all just now tuning in, man. We were much lower, man. We got our new word segment brought to you by my girl DJ, man. Y'all go check her out, man. She going crazy, man. Man, y'all stay tuned, man. We'll be right back to find out what else is up with much lower. Yeah. It's that time again. The sunny season has arrived. With all the celebrations to come, fixing our crowns also means beating the heat. Are you a part of the men, women, and children in the Milwaukee area who are seeking a professional hairstylist, loctician, or braider? I'm now accepting new clients. Fine Wine Braids has relocated to the south side of Milwaukee. However, I'm still providing mobile services to punctual clients at an additional cost. Don't miss out on the great deals for your favorite hairstyles such as $100 box braids and feed-ins for the month of April, the service two children get half off the price of one, style promotion, as well as the very popular $20 off referral bonus. You can find me online on Facebook or Instagram at Find is Wine Crystal, and you can even look at some of my latest styles and prices on the Booksy app at twistedbyice88.booksy.com. Again, Thanks for your interest in fine wine braids. I look forward to booking your look. Yo, yo, man, we tapping back in, man. Best of the best TV, man. We got Munch Lauren. We just got through with the word segment. And we just trying to figure out what, what else, what's, what's up What's up next? Like, what we got next coming up for, uh, for Munch Lauren, man? Uh, really, we just, we still pushing. We hitting these other states with the Munch Lauren. We trying to spread the culture. Spread the culture all over, you know. Like I said, I'm dropping the EPs every first of the month. Uh, other than that, like I said, we hitting this road and we, we tapping in with the other fan bases outside the city and outside the state. So right. So you, with you being like as big as you are, man, do you do you feel the competition? Do you do you see other artists as competition, or do they try to compete with you in a way? Like uh, to be honest, I don't really I don't look at this as no competition. I'm trying to eat. Yeah, man, we trying to make money. We can make money together. Come on, instead of competing, we can all just get together and we can make some money together. Because at the end of the day. You know, a lot of people, we all got kids, we all got family to feed, like, and competitions don't do nothing but take take food out of, yeah, out of yeah, the factual. other person's mouth. So yeah, factual. That, that ain't what I'm on. This ain't even no competition. If anything, I'm in competition with myself with the, the numbers I did last month. So that's what I'm in competition with. Right. I'm trying to better myself. Well, what, while we still in that same era, like, what do you, uh, who do, who can we find in your playlist right now? Like, somebody that Munch listen to. Uh... Uh, as far as like in the city or just, uh, just general? Yeah, just general. 
I listen to I'm a music connoisseur, so I listen to everything like Right. Like you would you would be surprised in my playlist. Like, you know, it's of course like I listen to like the futures, uh uh from the city. I listen to like uh, uh the the Dave Ballins, the Moolah Mars, the the Franks, the certified trapper all them. I listen to everybody. Oh, that's what's up, bro. I, I tap in with everything. A lot of people think I just sit here and listen to Uncle Luke all day. <laughs> um, Why would they think that, bro? They, they just I don't know. People think I just sit just sit down and listen to twerking music all day. Like, like, nah, that's crazy. Just, you do, you do got your lane, man. So again, man, rest in peace, Bankhead, man. Yeah, RP um, Bankhead. Cheeks too, man. That like how did y'all come up with that? Uh we was, uh, I had just got the uh, studio right, so we setting up the studio, building the booth and all that stuff. Uh, Bankhead was there, and he was on my laptop just listening to beats as, as we, you know, fixing up the studio. We literally, everything just got built, so really it's pretty much clean up. Yeah. And uh, I had a song on there. I had my verse and everything on a, on a beat already that, uh, that uh, somebody had sent me on the beat already. And the bank here listen to it, like, let me hop on this. And I'll say, man, I think I might make that cheeks too. He said, fuck, let me hop on it. I'm like, never, bro. You just painted a whole story. Y'all downstairs, y'all not downstairs, my studio downstairs, my best. So y'all in the lab, cleaning yeah. up, right? The right. booth just got built. Like, yeah, this, it sounded like this pretty much was the first song they got dropped. Yeah, in it there. was. It was the first song in the, in the studio. And it was on some, because, you know, I already had my verse down, and I really was recording on some testing the equipment. Facts. So what I rap was me testing the equipment. Facts. Like round now, like really, but I was just testing the equipment and Bankhead like, yeah, let me rap, let me put something on there. And he came in like, you know, rapping, coming off me and rapping. Right. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna mix that. And bro, then, you know how deep that is, bro? Yeah, like, yeah. dog, like you testing the equipment, bro, good enough to be able to record his verse. Dog. Yeah, like, yeah, so. Yeah, y'all made a hit with it. And that's how it happened. We really just, Threw it out here on some, uh, we knew like we just was playing around. We just tested the quick, yeah. all that stuff. We threw it out here and we was working on Super Saiyans uh, 4. So as we threw that out here, it started picking up as we working on Super Saiyans 4. We like, oh, we might as well throw that on Super Saiyans 4 and now we got a single. That's huge, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, that was an yeah. angel, bro. Yeah. Bank Hill was an angel, man. In case y'all just now tapping in, man. Man, give your last minute shout outs, man. Man, I want to give a shout out. Man, shout out to my team. Shout out to my family. Everybody that support me. Man, shout out to the best of the best for having me. Thanks, bro. Shout out to the city, bro. Yeah, facts, man. What else, man? What else? What, what else, man? Tell us something that we don't know, man, that you working on. Uh, I got a... Uh, I got some a couple features in the vault uh, coming out like Sada Baby, uh, B King. Uh, uh, got some more work with Trap Beckham. I got I got a lot of stuff, man. Jeez, I just be man. Y'all stay tapped in, man. It's your boy. We rocking out with Munch Lord, man. Y'all go stream that music, man. Turn it up. Send them uh, them videos in to it too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, also I got the the new single out, Cha Cha Now, produced by that, Kobe Trap. That's bonkers, bro. That yeah. song is bonkers, bro. How you come up with that, man? Uh, in the studio, man, I kind of was stuck. I was, I was, I was recording, and I got stuck. And uh, I remember I had that beat, so I I told uh, Piz like, you know, I'm gonna send you this other beat real quick. I sent it to him. He loaded it up, and I kind of just went in there on some trying to get out my writer's block. Right? Yeah. It was like me freestyling, trying to get in my writer's block. And then when I started feeling it, you kind of could tell in the song, I started feeling it like, oh yeah, Ooh, it's going crazy. We got, you really got niggas in here cha cha bro. <laughs> Y'all go stream that, man. But yeah, man, that's, that's the, we gonna wrap this up, man. We just got in the mind of Munch Lauren, man. Sure. And uh, y'all go stream uh, uh, April Fool's. Yeah, April Fool's April out right Fool's, now. New single, Cha Cha. Man, it's going down, man. It's your boy, Sir Quinn. Rocking out with Munch Lauren. You already know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. All of my niggas, they still in the struggle. Flexing on niggas with money, no muscle. I'm fucking up good, we using no rubber. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Fuck with us wrong, you niggas in trouble. The 40 they tuck, ain't no time, no tussle. I fucking them gone, ain't no time, no color. I tell them, like, sir, bitch, shut up and hustle. Shut up.